Hi there, and welcome back to this video series about MailMate. My name is Matt Petrowski. I'm a MailMate user and big time enthusiast, been using it for years. In this video, we're taking a look at smart mail boxes. These are your ultimate control for mail filtering. So basically in MailMate, when all of your mail comes into MailMate, you have the ability to view this email however you want. And in fact, one of the features that I liked about the Gmail user interface within the browser was the fact that they started to get a lot of the junk out of your actual mail. Well, this doesn't come out of the box in MailMate. It's something that you have to set up. So let's take a look at how we do that. As I move over to my MailMate interface, I've already shown you in some of the other videos how you can use the smart mailboxes to basically filter out the email that you want to specifically see. The key thing to know about smart mailboxes is that any one smart mailbox can reference and refer to any other smart mailbox and take any type of action in reference to that. For example, you can tell one smart mailbox if there's mail in another smart mailbox, don't show that mail. That's a very key concept to understand. So what I've done is I've already created a flagged for being able to see all of my flagged mail. I'm already looking at all of my priority using my custom tags where I can show the little exclamation point for things that I want to see specifically that I've tagged as a high priority. And you can use the key bindings and change that so that you can tag your messages with just hitting a key and making them priority. But also within Gmail, as I switch over to Chrome, we have this nice feature where Gmail implemented social and promotions. So I really liked that and I wanted to emulate that within MailMate. So here I've already created a promotional smart mailbox. Now in smart mailboxes, as I've mentioned in one of the other videos in this series, you can filter based on anything, and I mean anything. In fact, it's really good to know about email that email is nothing more than just text. Let's take a look at this message from Tumblr. Here, it looks like if I click load and I get all of my images, I get my nice HTML email. But this email is nothing more than a bunch of text, including references to things that show up as images. Now, if you look at any mail message, if you're a developer or if you're an advanced user, you probably already know about this. Under the message menu, I have the ability to view the source. I can actually look at everything that composes this message. In fact, down here at the bottom, you can see this go to source option. That's not exactly what we're looking for in this particular situation. We want command option U which I don't know where that command is here in the menu. Maybe it's under one of the other menus and it, maybe it's hidden. I didn't see which menu flashed when I did that. But that's also the same within web browsers. And you can see right here is what it's showing me is all of that text. Now, all of this text is everything that defines this message. Yes, HTML email messages will look like a lot of gobbledygook, but What's at the top of every single message is what's known as the email headers. That is everything that includes what is known to you in terms of the inbound message, such as the from and the to and the subject. Those are your most common header values, but there's other header values that make sense and are good to filter on, such as whether or not it's a mailing list. This means that you can subscribe to as many mailing lists as you want, then use smart filters in order to keep that content out of your primary mailbox that you look at for viewing your mail so that you only see the mail that you want to see, maybe work related and personal emails and all other emails such as social, promotional, mailing lists, etc., are all kept out of your main email box. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So as I zoom out here and go back from the source view, you need to know that a smart mailbox allows you to filter on any of these particular conditions. So when we go into the conditions section of a smart mailbox and we zoom in, what we're going to see is that we have the ability to select the from. And you can select the from right now with no specifier, but you can also select correspondent 
identity, the address, the domain within the address, final level, name, second level, third level, top level, user. There are so many different pieces of information out of those headers that are being parsed for you by MailMate that there's really nothing that you couldn't think of that MailMate can't actually filter on. This applies to the recipients of the two CC and the BCC, the two address, on any address that's found within the whole of the email, on the subject, within the body, based on the prefix of the subject, the date, whether it's formatted, year, zone, month, hour, file name, tags and keywords, which have their own options, tags only, MailMate or Mailer, whatever Mailer, if you want to know everybody who sends you mail from Apple Mail or from Outlook, you can do that. The unquoted body and the quoted body. If you want to look at only the content that isn't actually quoted, everything that is part of a reply thread message, you can do that. All the way down to your headers, source content, the mail to, the path, the protocol, the server, you name it. Anything that's within those headers, MailMate gives the ability for you to filter on those. Now we're just looking for some very simple filters in our setup here in order to emulate what we have over in Gmail, such as social and such as promotions. In fact, it actually shows you here by going into Gmail, I can look at what Gmail considers to be social versus promotions and actually mirror that. I can see that it's putting Twitter and Tumblr into this particular box and YouTube. So over here, what I've already done is I've taken the opportunity in the conditions to say, if any of the following are true, if I get a from address that contains the at tumblr.com, that's going to be filtered into my promotional smart mailbox. Also, if my from address is newsletter at IFTTT, that's a little more specific as opposed to the contains, and if I just went for the general domain, then I'm going to filter those out into my promotional. Well, once I've done that one smart mailbox, all I need to do is right click on that smart, bail uh, smart mailbox and choose duplicate mailbox. So I'll duplicate it and then I'll just double click and I'll actually call it social. It was already set up to do the same type of filtering that I want and I just need to change a few pieces of information. Now here's what I suggest that you do when you're setting up all of your different filters in your smart mailboxes. You can open up as you see I've already opened up this promotional right here. In fact if I double click it or if I excuse me hit the return key on it it should have opened up. It did, I did it somehow. I actually opened up this second window. Maybe it was a, a right click that I made. But getting this open allows me to have these two windows open and I can also see on the box, I'm filtered on it, double click, well we're looking at social, we want to change that one. I'll double click the smart mailbox to bring up its settings and over in this window I can choose on my all messages. So it's good to have a nice big monitor to do this because you can have this window open with the social selected while you actually modify the conditions for the social. So in this case, I'm going to guess on Twitter. I'm going to say Twitter is probably twitter.com. And so there you can see the results of the filtering. I'll click the minus sign to get rid of that and we'll add new one by simply going over and saying in my all mailbox, I'm also going to have YouTube. Now, one of the great ways to get your filters accurate is to simply take the information from the message itself. So I'm going to go to the message itself with it selected. And when I zoom in and I right click here, you can see that MailMate's going to give you a number of options. Copy, which implies the whole from. Or I can copy the address only or the name only. Well, this is really useful. I'll copy the address only, zoom back out, go over to my smart mailbox, click the plus sign, and I'll simply put in the plus. So if it comes from at YouTube, and I close this box, 
that means that my social is now going to actually show me Twitter and YouTube, and my promotional is going to show IFTT and Tumblr. Now, the trick here is, yes, it takes some time to initially set these up. But if you're already using Gmail, then all you have to do is go over to the social tab, select on any given message, and simply just highlight within the browser that piece of information that you want to filter on. Google's already done the work for you. You just need to transfer it into Gmail or into MailMate, excuse me. Now, if you remember, one of the things that I mentioned was within MailMate, any smart mailbox can reference any other smart mailbox. So my whole goal here is to start to create an environment where I control and see the mail that I want to see based on how I like to organize my mail. The great thing about smart mailboxes and the fact that they can reference other smart mailboxes is that you can also do containment. Right now I have a very flat system right here. You can see that these disclosure triangles actually show me the different options that I have under a smart mailbox. Now I can right click on this smart mailbox and choose a new smart mailbox and it will create that new smart mailbox within this mailbox but I don't have to keep this mailbox here. I can drag this mailbox outside of that smart mailbox and drag and select, or excuse me, select all of these smart mailboxes and drag them inside of this smart mailbox. And that allows me the organization where I can use the disclosure triangles to actually hide and show things. Now on this smart mailbox, what I can do is I can double click to open this and I can say that Basically, any other smart mailbox can be included into this mailbox. So let's give this a good name first off. I'm going to call this My Inbox. Now in My Inbox, I would like to be able to see all of my mail that is not already classified into flagged, priority, promotion, or social. Because I want to, I've already taken the time to filter those. So what I can do is I can say, if any of the message, any of the following are true. And I should say, if all of the following are true. First, I can say all messages. That will show me all messages. Then I can say flagged. Now, that's going to say I've got all messages and I've got flagged, but if I want to exclude flagged, I can do what's known as a compound path. So as you look at this option right here, where it says, as I zoom in here, well, my highlight's not working for some reason. Now it is. Hold down option to create compound paths. That's easily done by simply getting rid of this one item, holding down the option key, which you can see converts this from a plus to that symbol. And now we can use that option that I talked about in an earlier video in this series, where we can choose the none. By choosing the none, I can actually say my inbox flagged. And so what's going to happen is it will not include anything that's in flagged. If I add an additional item to that of my inbox priority, it's going to show me all of the messages that are in all messages, but are not in any of these. So if I click this and add my inbox of promotional. It's going to filter it down and now give me just my social. And finally, if I click my inbox and social, what I'm going to get is I should get results that will actually show me what I'm wanting to get, which is the ideal inbox. I'm not getting it currently, but I just need to tweak and play with these a little bit until I get exactly what I'm looking for. Now, if you're not getting the results that you're expecting to get, that's because some of your smart mailboxes may not be doing what you think that they're doing. When I set up my promotional smart mailbox, I know that I intended to reference all IFTT emails. I'm looking at the smart mailbox of my inbox, which is looking at all messages, but then attempting to exclude using the none compound path of everything that's in flagged, priority, promotional, or social. If I look at my promotional by double-clicking that smart mailbox, when that comes up and I look at the conditions, 
I can see that what I accidentally forgot was I wasn't filtering everything from IFTT. I was just filtering from newsletter at IFTT. So you're always going to need to be as specific or as broad as you want when it comes to your filters. Because on this smart mailbox, as soon as I say the from address contains IFTT and I zoom out with that modified and I go to my inbox, I'm now no longer seeing any of my items. I can also see that Twitter for some re reason is showing up in my inbox and I don't want the promotional. Well, selecting on the Twitter on the Twitter shows me that Twitter is actually sending something from e.twitter.com. And so what I was actually focusing on was just the at dot or at twitter.com. So I'll need to modify that in order to get it to filter out properly. Remember, companies do all kinds of funky things in terms of where they send email from. So in order to have the most effective filters, you need to go from the broadest level of filtering down to the more narrow level of filtering. So with a little bit of refinement on my smart mailboxes and referencing one smart mailbox from another smart mailbox, you can start to see that I can end up with my ideal inbox. I'm almost there. There's just a few more things to set up. One, I can see that Bitly is spend, sending me information. So I'm going to add Bitly. I'm going to right click again, copy the address only, and I can see that they're doing that funky thing. Instead of bit.ly.com, they're sending it from accounts.bitly.com, which is a third level domain. So I'm going to go into my promotional filter, double click, and what you're going to see is that on the conditions, rather than just specifically saying from address, looking at the contains, actually it's the social that I changed, We'll put it on the promotional. On the social, we can see that rather than going from the address or just the from address alone or the from no specifier, I actually went specifically to the from domain and changed it by not including the at symbol and saying, if it contains twitter.com or youtube.com, then I'm going to filter that into my social. Well, likewise, if I go to my promotional now, I don't know why I would put it in here, but if I add another item after just copying it, all I have to do is do from domain contains and then paste and take off the support at accounts and put in the dot bitly. That's going to include bitly in my promotional, but it's going to take it out of my inbox. So very clearly with all of the different indicators, I can see that my inbox truly only has two unread messages that I want to see, happen to be Google messages about signing in and when I created the account, but all of the rest of the email that I want filtered out of my primary inbox is now filtered out and I can see it by simply clicking that disclosure triangle. I can see everything that's important to me, everything that's not as important, I can simply see by clicking the expanding triangle. The last thing that I'm going to show you is simply doing a day by day view or looking at mail based on a time period. So this is basically my setup. I'll have my inbox, but then I'll create one more item. I'll create a new smart mailbox. It'll create it in within whatever folder I have selected. In this case, it's fine. Any of the following mailboxes. Yes, I want to reference a smart mailbox of my inbox because that's filtered, but I tend to get a little bit lax and I leave mail in my inbox. So in this case, what I'm going to do is add a condition and I'm going to choose the date and I'm going to say if it's within the last, I don't know, two days or let's do five days for a work week. And so what's going to happen is I'm going to move this one outside above the my inbox and I'm going to call it this week or today. And I can see that really the only thing that I'm interested in that I want to pay attention to is this Google alert from this week for an Exos 48 on sale. It just happens to be an Osprey backpack that I'm looking at. This Google alert is my only important message 
If I want to see the rest of my mail, I'll look at my inbox. That has all of the junk filtered out. If I want to look at the junk, then I can actually select on the promotional or the social, or if it's important, I can put flagged or priority. So in the next video, we're going to take a look at how you can actually set up these indicators and also how you can give yourself an indication within your menu bar of what's most important to you.